Mistress Newthouse, I was interested in estimating the average cost of lunch for students in the cafeteria. I looked at a random sample of six students and found the average cost was $7.01. Was it really a random sample, Jimmy? Well, maybe not. I was choosing girls that I thought were pretty. Does that matter? Of course, Jimmy. Maybe girls you consider pretty spend more, or possibly less, than the average student. It's hard to say exactly, but it certainly would be dubious to try to draw conclusions for all students, based on that type of sample. Can we just pretend it is a simple random sample for a minute? Okay Jimmy, your sample is very possibly hopelessly biased, but let's pretend it is a simple random sample. Okay, so I used the T procedure, and found a 95% confidence interval of approximately $6 to $8. Is the normality assumption reasonable Jimmy? For a sample size of 6 the normality assumption is very important. Listen, forget about all the stupid assumptions. I'm trying to interpret the interval. Well, the interpretation is meaningless, if the assumptions are violated. But okay Jimmy, go ahead. Let's pretend the assumptions are reasonable for a moment. So, can I say, that 95% of students spend between 6 and 8 dollars on lunch? No Jimmy. Can I say, that I'm 95% sure the sample mean lies between 6 and 8 dollars? No Jimmy. You know the sample mean is 7 dollars. Of course it falls within the interval. Can I say 95% of students eat lunch? No Jimmy, you are getting colder. Well, what can I say? Keeping in mind, that we are pretending the assumptions are reasonable, we could say, that we are 95% confident, that the population mean amount spent by students who buy lunch in the cafeteria lies between 6 and 8 dollars. Thanks Mr. S. I think I'm starting to understand this whole statistics thing.